All right, so we got all of our bearings done. Everything's finished up there. So the last kind of odd thing that we got to do, just other than just general reassembly, is we got to set this lash on our uh, Vanos pump because we changed our high pressure line that went up. So we got all of it put together. It's snugged up on its uh, bolts here, here, and over on the back, there's three bolts. So what we got is a little indicator right here and it's got a magnetic base that just clipped it onto the the balancer and it's sitting straight up into the teeth so it's touching one tooth and so when i put it back up in there i lined it back up to those little scribe marks that i made on the feet right here the little bolt feet and as you can see we got pretty close so uh, i grab the gear and i move it you can see my indicator moves let me zoom in on the indicator clearer shot of it. Get the light not to be so bright on it. There we go. Okay, so you can see right now each graduation is uh, point zero 0.01 millimeter. So right now if I'm sitting on zero on that side of the gear, when I go over here I'm sitting on about nine. So I'm trying to get it to somewhere about in the middle, maybe six to eight. So I'm pretty close, but what I need to do is actually thump it. So I'm going to take a soft hammer <clears throat> and right up here, there, there, I'll go back out a little bit. So right up here, I'm going to hit that banjo fitting with a hammer and see if I can't get this to position up. So you can still see the little gauge moving. I'm going to set it to zero and give it just a little thump. See if I can get it to move. And so it didn't move. Still didn't move. We'll move a bunch. Okay. So that moved it a little. Okay. So let's redo our gauge. go and now let's check it so it moved it but I think it just shook the gauge because it didn't change the the uh, reading so we're gonna thump it again and we got nothing so let's thump it again that time it may have moved it a little back on zero yep so it moved it now it's reading about seven okay and the bolts are kind of loose so what we want to do with it reading around let's get back in there so now it's reading with that side zeroed we're reading seven and just a little bit so what we want to do is try to torque it down and see if it changes any because it's six to eight is what we're shooting for so let's try tightening it up just a little bit and see if it stays there down kind of gets in your way if I remember correctly this wasn't really really tight okay so let's go back so as we tighten up it moves just a little so what we want to do is go ahead and snug it down about as tight as it was originally Yeah. all right so now we want to reset our zero and now when we move it we are sitting on about six so that's almost perfect we're supposed to be between six and eight 
And so now, just by snugging it down, we started out at about about eight. So now we're sitting on about six. So that's almost perfect. So there we go. So that's how you set the lash on this. It's just by thumping it sideways. And as you can see, we're right inside tolerance. It's not too tight. It shouldn't be making any whining noises. We got it locked down. And so we'll check each of the three bolts one more time. And then we'll be ready to just button up the rest of this car. And we'll get this thing going. This is the last little kind of weird thing that has to be done. So we just get them all snugged back up. And the rest of it is easy peasy. There we go. So let's check it one more time. So we're back on zero and we're sitting on about six. So there we go. As easy as that. Nothing big to worry about. All you got to do is get you one of these little gauges, a little dial indicator, and the magnetic base. You can get them off eBay. They're not very expensive at all. So that pretty much wraps up our uh, series on how to do these rod bearings on a S85 engine. Alrighty, well thanks for watching.